Every time you eat, you're setting off a cascade of chemical reactions that would make any chemistry lab jealous. Your digestive system is constantly breaking chemical bonds, rearranging atoms, and transforming complex food molecules into simple nutrients your cells can use. Welcome to Seismic. I'm Matt, and today we're exploring the amazing chemistry happening inside your body every time you eat. From the moment you take a bite to the moment your cells get energy, food undergoes incredible chemical transformations. Let's dive into this molecular meal processing. Food contains three main types of large, complex molecules that your body needs to break down. Carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Think of these as chemical puzzles that need to be taken apart piece by piece. Carbohydrates like starch are made of many glucose molecules linked together in long chains. It's like having a necklace made of sugar beads that needs to be broken apart to get individual beads your cells can use. Proteins are chains of amino acids linked together by by peptide bonds. Your body needs to break these chains apart to get the individual amino acids for building your own proteins. Fats are made of glycerol molecules attached to fatty acid chains. These large molecules need to be split apart so your cells can use them for energy or building cell membranes. The key problem is size. These food molecules are too large to cross from your digestive system into your bloodstream. Your body needs to chemically break them down into much smaller pieces that can then be absorbed. All of these molecules are held together by chemical bonds. Breaking these bonds requires energy and the right conditions, which is where digestive chemistry comes in. Your body produces amazing chemical tools called enzymes that speed up the breakdown of food molecules. Each enzyme is like a molecular scissor designed to cut specific types of chemical bonds. Enzymes are highly specific, meaning each one only works on certain molecules. It's like having different keys that only fit specific locks. Amylase only breaks down starch Pepsin only cuts protein bonds, and lipase only splits apart fats. When an enzyme encounters its target molecule, it binds to it at a special region called the active site. This binding weakens the chemical bonds, making them much easier to break apart. Your body produces different enzymes in different locations. Your mouth makes amylase for starch, your stomach produces pepsin for proteins, and your pancreas creates multiple enzymes including lipase for fats. Each enzyme works best under specific conditions. Pepsin needs needs the acidic environment of your stomach, while pancreatic enzymes work best in the more alkaline environment of your small intestine. Without enzymes, the chemical reactions needed to digest food would take hours or even days. Enzymes speed up these reactions millions of times, allowing digestion to happen in minutes or hours instead. Let's follow a piece of bread through its chemical journey. Bread contains starch, long chains of glucose molecules that need to be broken apart. Digestion actually starts in your mouth, where amylase enzyme in your saliva begins breaking some of the bonds holding starch together. This is why bread tastes slightly sweet if you chew it long enough. The starch is being converted into sugar. Most carbohydrate digestion happens in your small intestine, where pancreatic amylase and other enzymes complete the job of breaking starch down into individual glucose molecules. Different carbohydrates need different enzymes. Sucrose breaks down table sugar, lactase breaks down milk sugar, and maltase breaks down malt sugar. People who are lactose intolerant actually don't produce enough lactase enzyme. Now once broken down into simple sugars like glucose, these small molecules can be absorbed through the intestinal wall into your bloodstream, where they travel to cells throughout your body. The glucose then enters cellular respiration, where it undergoes more chemical reactions to release the energy stored in its chemical bonds is ATP, the energy currency your cells can actually use. Protein digestion is like taking apart a complex Lego construction to get to the individual building blocks. Proteins are long chains of amino acids connected by peptide bonds that need to be chemically severed. Protein digestion begins in your stomach, where the enzyme pepsin and stomach acid work together. Acid helps unfold the protein structure, making it easier for pepsin to access and break the peptide bonds. Your pancreas produces several different kinds of protein digesting enzymes, like trypsin, that complete the job of breaking proteins down into individual amino acids. These amino acids are then absorbed into your bloodstream and transported to cells throughout your body, where they can be reassembled into specific proteins your body needs. Your cells use these amino acid-like building blocks to construct enzymes, structural proteins, hormones, and other essential molecules. Fat digestion faces a unique challenge. Fats 
don't dissolve in water, but your digestive system is mostly water-based. Your body solves this with a two-step chemical process. First, bile from your liver acts like molecular detergent, breaking large fat gobules into tiny droplets. This process, called emulsification, dramatically increases the surface area available for chemical reactions. Then, lipase enzymes from your pancreas attack these tiny fat droplets, breaking the chemical bonds that hold fatty acids to the glycerol backbone. The products? fatty acids, and glycerol. Both are small enough to be absorbed into your lymphatic system and eventually enter your bloodstream. Your cells can use these molecules for energy through cellular respiration or incorporate them into cell membranes and other cellular structures. Fats actually provide more than twice the energy per molecule compared to carbohydrates. The chemical reactions of digestion are just the first step in a much longer process that transforms food into cellular energy. Once nutrients are absorbed, they undergo even more chemical reactions. Glucose from carbohydrates, amino acids from proteins, and fatty acids from fats can all be fed into cellular respiration pathways where they undergo controlled chemical reactions that transfer their stored energy to ATP molecules. These reactions happen primarily in your mitochondria where the chemical energy in food molecules is gradually released and captured in the high energy bonds of ATP. ATP then powers all your cellular activities, muscle contractions, brain function, building new molecules, Molecules, maintaining your body temperature, and everything else your cell needs to do too. It's an amazing chemical journey. Complex food molecules are broken down into simple nutrients, transported to cells, and then transformed through more chemical reactions into the ATP energy that powers your life. Throughout this entire process, energy is conserved. It's not created or destroyed. It's just transferred from chemical bonds to food to chemical bonds in ATP that your cells can use immediately. Your body truly is an incredible chemistry lab running thousands of chemical reactions every second to transform food into the molecules and energy you need to survive and thrive. Understanding food chemistry helps explain why nutrition matters, how digestive diseases develop, and how scientists develop new treatments for metabolic disorders. Who knows, maybe you'll become a biochemist studying these processes, or a nutritionist helping people optimize their food chemistry. These same principles, breaking and forming chemical bonds, enzyme catalysis, and energy transfer apply throughout chemistry and biology. Food digestion is a perfect example of applied chemistry in action. Don't forget to subscribe and let us know down in the comments which food molecules chemical journey do you find the most interesting. Thanks for exploring the chemistry of digestion with Seismic. Want to explore more about biochemistry and molecular processes? Check out our complete science curriculum at seismic.com where every student can learn, grow, and achieve.